All right, everybody. We decided to take a trip back to Japan. <laughs> no comment. Because <laughs> in, in the, our last Japanese segment, I mentioned the water candy. And it's Ranoon flavor gummy candy. And as you can tell by the bottle, it is a, it is a clear liquid beverage of some kind. I believe it's a soda. I'm not sure. But it is a product of Japan, like Godzilla, who will not be making an appearance today. I think he's off destroying Tokyo again. Would you like to try one? Sure. Now remember, don't chew it. Yeah, I know I can. You gotta savor that flavor, that water flavor. This is a flavor I could get anywhere else. From from any tap on the globe. Unless you're in like some third world country and you need a bunch of people to come out and build a well, then you're in trouble. Mmm. Doesn't smell like water. You're making a face. It just tastes like water. It's hard to like it. It's just It's like tofu, which is also Japanese. I bet we can mix it with anything and it'll absorb the flavor of whatever we mix it with. We can mix it with lavender water and it will taste like lavender. And then we can make a candle out of it. I just broke it with my mouth. I'm going to have another one. That is so taste neutral. It doesn't even taste like anything. It's terrible. That, that's, that's a uh, comment on something. Taste neutral. What? Yeah. What does it mean to be taste neutral? Think about that. Oh. Uh. You know, we may need some donuts or hamburgers after this. Some American food. Some obese food. Yeah. That's the whole goal of the American food industry is to make everyone fat. Mmm, that's good stuff. No. This one tastes a little bubbly. I can taste the carbonation. Do you taste the carbonation? No, it's I don't taste anything. Mm. Just right. dumb. Yeah. You know what we should have next time? Some Japanese soda if we could find some. Mm. Why is that terrible? I don't know. Huh. That's that's why it's a good suggestion. Oh, you know what else is good? In England, we're gonna go back to England. They have shrimp flavored potato chips. Alright, we're done. Okay. <laughs> Imagine how disgusting those are. I'm not giving you. You can do that by yourself. I'm not doing that. No. You, if I if I do it, you do it. Like like father, like son. No, if you're you're not gonna bring pain onto me. All right. Whatever pain I feel, you have to endure. As my son. No. Yes. No. It is called being a offspring. You know what? Because your sister doesn't watch our videos. So she won't know this this uh, discussion took place. We'll get her to sit next to me, and we'll have her eat the shrimp potato. We won't tell her because it, it doesn't say shrimp on the package, so she won't know. But here, try this. It's very delicious, and she'll taste it. And she'll, be like, ah! <laughs> she'll, she'll do her typical Danielle voice. Ah! Well, actually, no, it's a little high pitched. It's a little more pimply. No, uh, oh, that's more like Frankenstein. Uh. No, that's more, the, that's more the guy from Revolution. Oh, yeah, that guy in the stands at the Revolution games. Uh. Okay, how much of this are we keeping in the video? All of it. All of it. It all stays, man. That guy in the Revolution. You know, when, for people that don't know who the Revolution are, um, here in the United States, we have soccer as we call it. Well, everywhere else in the world it's called football or football. Um, so we have soccer. We have a professional league which is not very good. It's probably in comparison I'd say it's like League One or the Championship League in England. It's like Boonza Liga 4. They're not very good. It's like AAA baseball. <clears throat> and Major League Soccer or MLS has a bunch of teams and we go see the New England Revolution, 
who have always let you down. They could be up 5-0 and somehow they'll lose 6-5. It defies all sense and logic because if you're up 5-0, you should win that match. You don't see Liverpool losing when they're up 5 nothing. So there's a guy, they have a supporter section called the Fort. And there's a guy, and he just goes, Arr! but he's supposed to be like saying something. But it sounds like, Arr! and there's a guy with a yellow hat. I don't know if he says anything, but about... They want to be like a Boonza League crowd, but they kind of lose their momentum and spirit for the game about five minutes in. And it's just a hodgepodge of people doing crazy things. Did you fart? No, no, I, that's what I was going to tell you. Now, I've eaten the candies, so we decided, why not try the soda? Well, it's carbonated nonetheless. See if it tastes like the candy. <laughs> He didn't eat the candy. I mean, I did, but I also didn't. Yeah. It has like no smell. That. I don't. It just smells like the bottle. It's like tofu water. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now I don't know if I want to eat it. Wait. Eat water. Yes. <laughs> I like how you specifically give me less. No, we have the same amount. No, we don't. No, we do. <laughs> no, we don't. No, we do. Do we? Okay. No, no. You, I have visibly less. Right, you want more? No, I don't, but I'm just... Then why are you complaining? I'm just saying! Jeez. You know, Japan was never bombed by the Germans. Unlike all the other s snacks we had from countries that were bombed by the Germans. Hmm. Japan was bombed by the Americans. All right, well, all right. This tastes like the candy. It does, but why? Just, just why if with the history? Well, why jokes? would the candy taste like this? So why would the history jokes <laughs> that aren't? Fun. They're not meant to be fun. You're the one that rolls around on the floor when I talk about the Germans rolling into the Netherlands. Because you started thinking it was funny, and I was laughing at you because you're... We gotta have some, like, Belgium candy so I can talk about how the Germans rolled through Belgium. That's even funnier. Unless you're from Belgium. Then you're like, why are these Americans making fun of us being invaded twice by the Germans? Needless to say, it was the Americans that went and liberated those countries. That, yeah, that sounds like an odd gummy taste. Yeah, it does. Alright. And seeing that we're drinking beverages from Japan, I figured I'd have some green tea candy. <laughs> Made from in Japan. Made from in Japan. <laughs> Made from in Japan. I was watching some Godzilla movies yesterday. Kind of put me in that Japanese mood. It was, uh, when do you define? What does that? What does that mean? Is what? what? Is whatever you think it means? I don't want to know. Okay. Is is it a pill? Like when you <laughs> push the package, it feels like a pill. That's when I got the idea we should go to the Godzilla museum. Okay. Well, it's not a pill, but it's not really better either. It's it almost gummy. looks like gum. It's like a gummy thing. Like a. How much you want to bet this tastes awful? Uh, five dollars. Alright, get ready to owe me five dollars because I'm gonna like this now. <laughs> no, okay, no, yeah, no, I want the five dollars. But we both agree that it's gonna be awful. Oh man, that's hard. I think I'm gonna lose a tooth. No, I don't taste the tea either. It just tastes green. Hmm. Mm. So if green had a flavor, it would be this. Yeah. Had a taste. I wonder what red would taste like. Or orange. Actually, yellow and blue make green. 
So what does yellow taste like? And what does blue taste like? That's the question. That wasn't the question. I wonder if this is vegan. I have no idea what that says, but it's like a little guy. I think he's saying it's vegan. Let's see. Ingredients. Sugar, corn syrup, vegetable oil, green tea, black tea, artificial flavor. I don't know. We have some more stuff we're going to try. Um, if you're wondering when this series is going to end, uh, it's, it's not. Um, it will never end. It will go on. A lot of people enjoy it. And we are working on getting some vegan snacks, which should be interesting. I was telling Nate, or Nathaniel as I call him, that we could just go out in the yard and rake up some leaves and twigs and it would be vegan. All right. So we have some stuff today that I'm reaching for. I'm going to hand a bottle to this guy because that's what he picked up. And we have, from France, more waters. We have lemonade and blood orange. So we'll try the blood orange first. Oh, how do I unscrew this cap? Oh. You don't screw it, you pop it. Why is it, why is it whispering? I we just put out a candle. Because it's under pressure. There we go. Don't even start. Let me see. Put the cap back on. Airtight. Viva la France. Mm. Cheers. Salut. It's a lot better than the lavender. Yeah. And then, under his suggestion, I picked lemonade. Didn't I suggest both of these? That's why I said, under your suggestion, I picked lemonade. <laughs> Listen to those bubbles. We might have to bring this to the driving so we can look like we have class. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like the blood orange better. Yeah, the blood orange is probably the best out of the three. Although I drank all the lavender water by the fire pit, it was very relaxing. <laughs> you thought it was bad to get you sit it by a fire and it's like, mm, this is good, yeah. No, if you sip it like a whiskey, it's quite good. Of course, you wouldn't know anything about sipping whiskey, but you will. It's in your blood. Alright, ready? Hold on a minute. <laughs> 